Hello and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to talk about the fidget spinner. This is something that's been real popular with the high school kids. And uh, since we're teaching SolidWorks, I'm going to show you how to create the fidget spinner in SolidWorks. A little demo. First thing I'm going to do is open up SolidWorks. We're going to sketch a circle. Actually two circles. One of the circles we're going to sketch at 86 millimeters. And then inside there we're going to sketch a 22 millimeter circle. And that just happens to be the diameter of the uh, 608 skateboard bearing. Uh, it's 22 in diameter, uh, 7 millimeters thick, and has a little 8 millimeter hole in the center of it. So we're going to go ahead and sketch this. I'm going to go ahead and then extrude it into a solid object, uh, 7 millimeters thick. So now we have a disc with a hole in the middle of it. Uh, next we're going to uh, cut or sketch another 22 millimeter uh, circle. Uh, in a little center line straight above uh, the original one and I've got it set here about 27 millimeters uh, apart. Then we're going to go ahead and cut that and then next we're going to create uh, six or uh, five more, six total, uh, in a circular pattern. So we'll use the circular pattern and uh, we'll outline these. We're just coming over here. We'll put six in. There will be equal spacing. Then we'll go ahead and finish that by selecting the little green check. It'll cut the holes. Now we've got six holes cut all the way around. Uh, next, we need to save just three of these holes, and we're going to cut away some of this other material. Uh, to do that, I'm going to create another uh, sketch, and I'm going to create a circle here. Uh, it's going to remove some of this material. And then I'm going to use another circular pattern to uh, cut uh, material in uh, two other places. And got kind of a start of a, a spinner. I uh, got some funny shapes here. I'm going to use uh, the fillet uh, feature to uh, see if we can shape or round off some of these uh, some of these features. I'm going to take the uh, corners here, and I'm going to use a 17 uh, millimeter uh, radius uh, fillet. And you can see the outline uh, for the preview of what it's going to look like. So I'll go ahead and accept that fillet. Still have some edges down here that I'm also going to put a fillet on. And this fillet is just going to be a 15 millimeter. And it kind of rounds out uh, what's left of uh, some of those protrusions. And you can see I've got a pretty good uh, looking spinner now. Uh, now I still need to rough or round off these, uh, these square edges here. So I'm going to use a fillet. This is uh, 7 uh, millimeters thick, so I'll use a uh, 3.5 millimeter fillet on both sides. And that should round it off pretty nice. And there it is. Uh, you can see it's it's rounded off. It's pretty proportional. All I need to do next is add the bearings. So we're going to create an assembly drawing, and I'm just going to bring in uh, three bearings. This uh, center bearing is going to be my uh, best bearing, uh, more precise. I'll put that in the center, and I'm going to take a uh, three of my less expensive bearings and put them on the outside. And when I'm all finished, should look something like this. Uh, we've got still some lines around here that I'm going to remove, but uh, that's pretty much the finished spinner. Uh, here it is here, uh, kind of finished with the rounding. Uh, well, I'm going to do one more, or maybe two more of these. I'm going to do um, kind of a linear instead of this uh, tri-spinner. I'm going to put uh, I'll do a spinner with just uh, three bearings in a straight line. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. I'll do the next one soon.